I love this. Thank you. Yeah, certainly. So, uh, I, I did a quick search of the 1986 Monte Carlo Aero Coupe. They made 200, and then they made 6,052 yeah. in 1987. Still a super rare car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I interestingly, I guess they they made more for 87. It was only supposed to be a homologation special for 86. Mm -hmm. But people really thought they were cool, which is funny because the opinions flipped years later. People didn't like these. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, because the standard, the standard Monte Carlo, you can see the window would have just went down flush with the, that uh, yeah. C-pillar. Mm -hmm. That's terrific. And it's cool because this is an actual, like homologated race car and you're taking it on the track mm -hmm. good for you man yeah the uh i've got another aero coupe i'm making the blue and yellow wrangler number three out of it oh yeah 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 i also really love the the, the grand prix aero mm -hmm. the yeah. aero they were and, really uh, cool you know i don't want this car looking like brand new i want it looking skin up and yeah got the tire marks on the door and fender heck yeah, yeah rubbin's racing yeah <laughs> I absolutely love it. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like the 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 eighty six, eighty seven generation Monte Carlo SS is really cool anyway. Mm -hmm. But seeing the Arrow is like ten times cooler, and then seeing yours is even ten times cooler than that mm -hmm. because you use it yeah. as it was intended. Mm -hmm. I love it. Wow. See, I, I'm doing this car to where I'm not butchering it. You know, like uh, you see the fuel filler thing on the quarter panel. Okay. You know what that is? Uh, it looks like a soup can. Took a piece of sheet metal, I mean sheet aluminum, you know, and cut that ring out. And uh, what I did, I bent it to shape of the quarter panel, cut yeah. it out, and um, I drilled the holes in it and put the rivets in there. Then I cut the back side of the rivet off flush, and that's epoxied on there. Okay. And where's the actual fuel filler? It's, it's behind the tag. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You had the license plate? Yeah, I'm, I'm in the process of making this car as light as possible. Yeah. So I did away with the big metal, look right here. I did away with the big metal tag bracket that folds down. Oh, okay. I've got these pieces of aluminum right here where you just do that. Right there. Okay, no, there you no, go. No weight at all, you know. Race car. Yeah, just. Yeah, it's a little clips. And uh, so I'm going to point out here on, on, on my video, uh, these are not real rivets. And I thought that this was a Lexan window as well as the quarter here. These were the original glass windows. Mm -hmm. And what's your name? Gene Fuller. Gene. Gene here went ahead and gave sort of a faux Lexan look with these uh, <laughs> uh, adhered rivet tops. So that's actually pretty cool. And this uh, NASCAR trunk hinge is just for looks. Okay. It's, uh, I still have the original hinges. These are on there just... Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's funny. I, I didn't realize they used the, you see the actual little hydraulics. The battery is smaller than a lawnmower, right? A lawnmower battery. Oh, just for weight? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Which is funny because this, is, this isn't a light car. <laughs> it's, it's. I mean, this car probably weighs like, what, 3,500 pounds at least? It did originally. It don't now. Yeah. You have your headlights. Uh, filled in. What I did on the headlights, this car came with those square glass headlights. Yeah, and little a big, quad sylvine. A big heavy bracket and everything. I did away with that. And uh, I've got these, like when I leave the cruise in at night, at it, it dark, I just, I got them Velcroed on. Oh, really? And I just pull them off. Ah, okay, okay, good for you, bro. I like that. And these headlights I put in there, they're off with 95 Silverado. Okay, that makes sense. One piece of plastic. Oh, wow, and it fits right in there. And uh, I made my own aluminum bracket back there. Yeah. These headlights, you can hold them out like this. The heavy glass, the original ones, weigh about five pounds a piece. Oh, wow. These weigh about a half a pound a piece. Super light. Good for you, dude. Yeah, and I really do. <laughs> I like your, your, your tire marks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rubbing is racing. Wait, are these tire marks or is that paint? It's all uh, paint from house, black house paint. <laughs> right on, man. Well, you, you, you really uh, recreated the look, and, and I appreciate it. It looks really cool. And uh, you don't see these arrow coops very often anymore, so to see one in race trim. I very much appreciate there's no, it. There's no door. 
Here's, here's how you open the door. You pull this little old cable that weighs about an ounce. <laughs> There's no... The interior's just got two bucket seats. So that looks comfy. <laughs> and you can see the window making... The window still roll up. The, oh, yeah. The things drill about 75 holes in there, you see, to get less weight off of it. Yeah. And here's... Here's how you open the door like a Ferrari, you pull the cord. <laughs> nice. How long have you had this car? Five years. Five years right on. I got it from my brother. He had it, uh, my brother had it about 15 years. Oh, wow. It took me four years to talk him out of it. <laughs> and he's got another one just like it. Oh, good. But these, these hood pins, I didn't want to cut the original hood. Yeah. I went to Lowe's and got this half inch aluminum stock and cut them off. And I made this plate with the rivets like like on the back back there. Cut the rivets all flush and this as epoxied on. Okay. And I made so these. they're not functional, but no. they, they serve the look. I made these uh, clips here out of the aluminum that you buy for a chain link fence at Lowe's. And I bent them to, sh to shape like... Like this, carabiner? Uh, that's aluminum. It don't weigh hardly anything. Huh. And I'm in the process of uh, making these out of aluminum. Were well, these part of it? Is this a 307? This is the original 305 automatic. 305, yeah. Why yeah. did I say 307? That's what I meant, 305, yeah. 307 was a rare one. The uh, I got a little old tiny alternator, weighs six pounds. Of the original weighed tw 12. That and is teeny tiny. And I got this little fan, no power steering. <laughs> the uh, air filter is aluminum. The wing nut and the stud is aluminum. Ah, that's pretty cool. You gonna take this out on the track today? Yeah. When you're here. <laughs> right on. I've had it out here before, Jim. Yeah. Well, uh, I hope I get to see you out there. Yeah, very cool right here at the Barber Motorsports Park in Birmingham, Alabama.